Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I will be showing you exactly how I made my own do it yourself push pole slash paddle holster for inshore fishing. If you pull a skiff or stand up and paddle from a kayak or paddleboard, this simple piece of equipment can be very critical for stealth on the water. So let's go ahead and discuss how I make this. All right, so this is the final product that I'm going to be showing you how to make. It's a very cheap way and very effective way of uh, holding your paddle when you're standing up and fishing, transitioning from paddling to casting so you don't have to put your paddle down, or your push pole if you're push pulling from your kayak and also push pulling from your boat. So this is effective on a boat, kayak, uh, whatever type of craft you are using. So it's just simply some PVC pipe, one small screw, and an old belt. That's all you need uh, to make this. So. As far as the PVC pipe goes, I used a one foot section of thin wall PVC pipe. This is one and a quarter inches. Now you wanna use this thin wall PVC because it's easier to manipulate when you heat it up to get the desired uh, shape when you are making this paddle holster or push pole holster. Okay, so again, this is about a one foot section of thin wall PVC. You wanna cut, I already pre-cut it. You got a four and a half inch section and that will be the actual part that holds your paddle or your uh, push pole. And then you have a seven and a half inch section that's actually going to be the back plate that your belt is going to attach to and also where you attach the other piece of PVC pipe onto. Okay, so what I did, I already pre-cut a slit down the long piece. That's gonna enable me to heat it up and bend it out and flatten it out, which I'll show you here in a second. Now this next piece, you're going to want to cut just above halfway, um, straight across, all the way down. So first, let's go ahead and cut this to shape. All right, so now we've got our desired shape for our holster. Uh, whether it be for your paddle or your push pull, uh, they will both fit in this very nicely. Mine actually, my uh, paddle actually fits in this very nicely, clips right in. That's why I cut just above the top, or just below the top rather, that way it gives it a little, uh, little lip for the paddle to grip into and lock in so it doesn't fall out. So we have that done. The next thing you would wanna do is put a small hole uh, using a drill and that would be where you attach this to the back plate. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so now we have to heat up this piece and flatten it out. So you will need a heat source. This is a uh, standard heat gun, heat strip by Black & Decker. Uh, heats up very nicely. Uh, you could also use a blow dryer, however, it might take a lot longer. If you can get your hands on one of these, it's a lot quicker. So we're gonna go ahead and heat this up. Just when you do heat this up, make sure you're holding it with pliers or something so you don't burn yourself. Now once you've got it pretty flattened out, it helps to have something to sit on top of it to keep it flat. So I'm just gonna keep heating it up a little bit more just to make sure it's nice and flexible when I place something on top of it. Oh, car battery should do the trick. Just let that sit there for a couple minutes and it will cool off and you'll have a nice flat piece to work with. All right. So there you have a nice flat piece of plastic to work with as your back plate. Now you don't want to use this whole piece on there. As you can see, I used about half of it uh, for the one that I made already. 
So just cut this about uh, a little more than halfway, maybe cut about an inch or two off. That way you have a nice solid back plate where you can put your slits to put your belt through and also attach your holster. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up and we'll get back to you shortly. All right, so we have our back plate now. So all we have to do now is just attach the bottom piece and then put some slits in it so that you can feed your belt through like so. So let's go ahead and get this attached. So just a reminder, just make sure you are using stainless steel hardware, a uh, small stainless steel screw when you are doing this, just because it will save you from having to replace that screw down the road if it rusts out, if it was zinc or just plain steel. So definitely go with stainless steel hardware. Um, it's just one little screw and a uh, lock nut. Now you wanna make sure it's a lock nut or it has a little plastic inside that keeps uh, the nut from falling off because this does move around. You want it to move freely. You don't want to have it locked in place. So just keep that in mind. So you just attach that there like so. And I'll tighten that up later when I get a wrench. But that's pretty much it for there. Now all you have to do is cut the slits down uh, for the belt. So whatever belt you're using, just kind of measure, get an idea of how big those slits should be. So this one should be roughly two inches and you wanna space them about an inch apart. All right, the slits are made. I just went through with the jigsaw and cut up and around. These can be tricky to cut sometimes. On my original one, I just drilled a bunch of holes and then punched out all the holes. Uh, that way I didn't have that uh, flimsiness like this one has, but it'll still work. Easier to put the belt on also. So you've got the paddle holster, you've got your belt. Just slip it on like so. And there you have it. If you are new to Salt Strong, we are the largest online fishing club for saltwater anglers and we guarantee you two things. Number one, you'll start catching more fish in less time. And number two, you will save a ton of money on your favorite tackle and gear with discounts available exclusively for our members. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there. Live so strong in weather lines today.